Hi Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here. In this video tutorial I would like to show you two versions of a single crochet join. A normal single crochet join and an alternative single crochet join that sits beautifully flat and straight. Okay, I hope this helps okay, you. Okay, so for a normal single crochet join what you will do is take two squares and put them wrong sides together. Okay, then you're going to start in the corner space and put your hook through both corner spaces and make a standing single crochet. And then you're just going to work through both loops of the front square and both loops of the back square, okay? And make sure that you're aware that on your front square the loop top loops of the stitch come before the post and on the back square where you're looking at the wrong side they come after the post, okay? And just make a single crochet through both stitches. Okay, you will find that you need to just relax your tension a little bit. Don't make it too tight. Okay, and you're making both single crochet your single crochet through both squares working from the right side and through onto the wrong side of the other square. Okay, let me just whiz along the rest of this. As you come to the end, make your last single crochet in the corner. Okay, now if you're going to join more squares together, you're going to just carry on with the next two squares you would put next to each other and you just go straight into that corner space of both squares again and carry on. Okay. Now that looks very neat from the front. It looks neat enough from the back. From the wrong side you get a nice neat finish. So if you wanted this to be your finish then work with the right sides together and then this will be on the top. But if you look you can see that your stitches slant over and even if you try pulling them up, pushing them over, they will still slant over slightly. Okay, so what I want to show you now is how to get a perfectly flat single crochet join. Okay, so again we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. Take our two squares and put them wrong sides together. Again start through the two corner spaces or if your squares have got a corner stitch then go into your corner stitch. But then what you're going to do is alternate working from the front and the back. So that one I've worked from the front so now I'm going to come from the back but straight through oops and single crochet and then from the front into the back square and single crochet and then from the back into the front and single crochet Okay, so as you're making your normal one from the front, 
it will sit perfectly straight. As you come through and make the one from the back, you're actually twisting slightly. And just keep going from the front. And from the back. And from the front. Okay, so it still looks straight from that side. Looks straight from that side. Looks the same underneath. But from the top, it's completely straight. It won't lean over to one side. Okay, I'm going to just carry on and I'm going to join two more squares onto here. Okay, so again I'll finish working in these two corner spaces, then I'll cross over to these two and work in the same way along, and then I want to come down and show you working over the join to make sure that you don't get any gaps at all. Okay, so if you're joining multiple squares together, you're just going to carry on with that join all the way along, working two rows of squares together. And then again, you'd work up the next ones, working across this way all the time. Then, once you've finished all of the joins going one way, you turn your work and you're now going to make all of the joins going this way. Okay, so we're going to start in exactly the same way by bringing our work together so that we've got wrong sides together and into the corner of both squares and make our standing single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to come exactly the same backwards and forwards. Okay, backwards and forwards and you're going to work all the way along until you get to okay, the join. Okay, so I've made the join in the last stitch now I'm going to make the join through both corners and then straight over to the next two corners Okay, so that you're not um, putting any extra stitch in the join, you're just literally coming straight over the join. Let me just do a couple more and then I'll put it flat and you can see. Okay. So it's straight over that other join, so as it pulls out you can see your corner spaces but you've got no gap anywhere there in your join, okay? And it keeps everything so that it's raised straight, there's no leaning over to one side or the other, but you've got a, a raised join on the front of your work unless you want this look where you've just got it's almost like a whip stitch join it looks like from underneath then you can work on the back of your work and this is what you'll get on the front okay so just one more little hint when you're working your squares together and you've got one at the front and one at the back. If you look at the top loops here they cut they form a V. Okay so the square facing you you're going to go into the narrow part of the V 
and with the square that's facing away from you, you're also going to go into the narrow part of the V. Oops, sorry. Okay, let me just zoom in so you can see that a little bit more clearly. Okay, you've got your V's, but they're going in opposite directions. Okay, that way and that way. So hook through the narrow part of the V and through the narrow part of the V and then you know that you're matching your stitches exactly as you make that single crochet. Okay, and just keep front to back and then back to front all the way across and it keeps your join nice and straight so that it doesn't lean over to one side and it makes your work look much much neater. Okay much neater than this that will fall over to one side. As you can see, it doesn't sit up straight like this does. It will always tend to lean over to one side. Okay, thanks for watching.